Motor Week is made possible by Rock Auto and Tire Rack. Pottstown, Pennsylvania, sitting about 40 miles northwest of Philadelphia is where you'll find Sean Folkerts and his family. And they have more Fiat Spiders and other classic Italian hardware than just about anyone else on this side of the Atlantic. I mainly specialize in Fiat, Lancia, Pininfarina, Bertone, and then some of the other off-brands, uh, Bitters, Citroen, Alfa Romeo. He was a scientist before he moved full-time to automobile algae. This building holds most of the 200 mostly Fiat cars he owns. What was your first car, then what was your second? My first car was a 1981 Fiat Spider, red, uh, that I bought when I was 16 years old in three days. And the second one was a parts car that I needed to fix the rear differential on that very first Fiat Spider. So it was cheaper for you to get a parts car than it would have been to fix the rear deck. That's correct, and I ended up with a lot of spare parts in the process. Sean has a favorite car for each purpose, whether that's out to dinner on a Friday night or taking his shop help to soccer practice. My wife and my daughter are a great help, and they share my passion for all of these cars, and we have a great time with them. Friends get to have fun, too. He and his wife knew they had the perfect solution for getting their wedding party from point A to B. There was never a chance of us hiring a limousine. We have all these great cars to use, so basically each of our groomsmen got a set of keys and a bridesmaid, and uh, we used all of our cars uh, in the wedding party. And family vacations, well, they'll often include a pit stop. You see, Sean can't buy everything he likes, but he can accept some. Regardless of the reason, if the owners can't keep them anymore, they're loaded on a trailer and added to his collection. Sean was nice enough to let us cruise in his pride and joy a Fiat 124 Spider. Oh yeah, super easy to drive. Comfortable seats, I like the gear shifter, clutch is simple. What are we in right now? This is an 82 Spider, which uh, the model went from about 1966 up to 1985 and a half. Um, the 85 and a half was its own model and the 83 to 85 was its own model. So this is sort of the last of the Fiat built Spiders. This is my favorite car ever. It's a twin cam, Lampretti designed engine, four wheel disc brakes, five speed synchronized transmission. There's really nothing that I don't like. There's a very short linkage on this transmission. It's, uh, it's maybe six or eight inches. Other than that, you're basically going straight into the transmission here, so you get a real nice direct feel. Ah. Nothing to get in your way. OK. Not five minutes into our drive, we were being pointed out of the crowd. <laughs> you hear everybody yelling, look at that car. <laughs> I love that. In fact, visitors from Europe, Canada, and the West Coast frequent the warehouse. If you need a reference point or a tip, this guy is happy to help. These cars came with power windows, but it takes about a minute and a half for them to get up. Oh so. my God. <laughs> that's one weak motor. Yeah, anybody that's considering buying one of these, make sure you get the manual windows. Why all these classic Italian cars? Sean feels they embody the same passion that makes older Ferraris and Lamborghinis so desirable, but were much easier to buy and live with. 